Hi, welcome to this tech tip from Navitend. Someone recently asked me how to how I make the videos on YouTube where I put my face up and I also uh, share content from my computer screen all at the same time and capture the audio. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but the simplest way that I've found is actually to use Microsoft Teams. I do want to note that this is the Teams for work and for business, not the Teams that's included with Microsoft Windows 11. Just want to draw that distinction. But with the Microsoft Teams for work and business, you can actually create a meeting with yourself. Turn on your video in the meeting and share your screen in the meeting and then record that meeting to create that kind of um, effect that we're looking for. So all you do is you open Microsoft Teams and you choose the calendar tab on the left. And then you wanna click the Meet Now button. The Meet Now button is a quick way to create a meeting. Um, you might wanna change the name of the meeting. I'll just say Screen Recording demo and then click start meeting it's going to generate the meeting with yourself basically you're going to be the only person in here starting out and we're not going to add anyone else because this is going to be used for recording so you'll want to make sure that video is turned on and you want to make sure that audio is turned on so that you can capture yourself as well as what you're saying click join now and that'll actually connect you into this meeting with yourself takes a minute to finalize and connect. Once that's done, it's gonna ask you if you wanna invite people to join you. Since this, the whole purpose of this is to meet with yourself, just close out of that. The next thing you wanna do is actually share whatever it is that you'd like to include in your video. So use the share button. Now, the most important thing here in terms of getting it to have your screen in the video recording, as well as the video of your own face, you want to choose the presenter mode. Now, any one of these three presenter modes, stand out, side by side, or reporter will work. When you actually record the meeting, it looks the same, no matter which one of those three you choose anyway. I usually just choose side by side and then choose the screen that I want to share or the window that I want to share. I'm going to choose this screen here with a PowerPoint. So once you've chosen that, um, a window is going to appear, and I have to actually quickly add this window so that you can see it on my end. Just give me one second to actually show what this looks like. There we go. So you'll be able to see this now. So this is what the the little uh, window looks like. Um, you can see here that it's showing kind of what it will look like for people in my meeting. They're basically going to be seeing me and just note my Teams camera is over there. So in an actual meeting, um, you'll look directly at the camera. My camera's at a weird angle, but at any rate, and they can also see my screen over here. So I can, you know, move, show my presentation over here and narrate my way through it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, please note that when you actually do the recording, it's not gonna show this pretty uh, background. And this is why I said it doesn't really matter which presenter mode you choose because in the recording, it's just gonna have what you're sharing and then the face off to the side. And that's just the way it does it no matter what presenter mode you're in. So the first thing, the last thing rather that you need to do is actually record this so that it generates a video file that you can then share you know, on YouTube or LinkedIn or wherever you want it to share it. Um, you need to you need to bring up on your screen uh, the Teams meeting that you're actually in. It automatically minimizes that when you start the Teams uh, screen share. And so you'll want to find the little window that looks like this. Just bear with me one second. Looks like this. You'll want to find this window that looks like it says screen recording demo, or it'll actually have the name of whatever your meeting was. It'll say call is in progress. Click here to go back to the call screen. When you click that, it'll pop the meeting back up on your screen. You'll see yourself. Um, and this is where you can do things like stop sharing or actually uh, actually uh, leave the, the meeting or end the meeting over here. So what you'll wanna do is you'll just wanna go to the more button and choose start recording. That button there is where the magic happens. It takes a second or two to get started. So make sure you don't start talking right away. Wait until you see a banner right there. You see the banner now you've started recording. Once you see that banner, you can go ahead and start talking. You can walk people through your presentation, you know, go through your different slides and explain what, what it is that you're presenting. And then when you're done, 
you can choose the more button to uh, stop recording. Or what I'm going to do, you can simply leave the meeting. And what that does is it actually ends the recording and the recording automatically gets saved to your files on your computer. So if you open your file explorer on your computer and you browse to the OneDrive for your for your uh, your OneDrive folder, just go to the recordings folder within there and you'll see the recording file that you created. And this is just a normal video file that you can then upload to YouTube or LinkedIn or anywhere else. You could also edit it in your favorite video processing program, whatever you wanted to do, but you have that recording. And I'll actually open this up so that you can see what it looks like. So here it is. I'll just where the magic it. happens. It takes us, you can walk people through your presentation. So I'll pause it there. You can see I've got the screen content that I shared as well as the video that I shared, the video feed. Um, and uh, that's how that works. So this is the, the video file. So again, this is Phil Beach from Navitend. Just wanted to show how I create those videos. If you have any questions or if you need help setting up Microsoft Teams for your organization, Navitend can help. Feel free to reach out via phone or email. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us online at www.navitend.com. Thank you so much.